Hello! Welcome to our channel of Arkel training videos. In this training video, I will practically tell you about the auto-tuning preparation process in R-Code. Auto-tuning preparation process in R-Code is consisted of the following stages. Three-phase connection is made to the L1, L2, L3 terminal blocks under the panel. UVW motor cables are connected. Braking resistance is connected to the B1, B2 terminal blocks under the panel. Motor, brake resistance and their PTCs, brake ends, motor brake monitoring switches, motor fan and if available, battery case connections are made to the control panel. Encoder connections are made to the NCA or NCI card on the device. For geared asynchronous machine, NCI card. For gearless synchronous motor, NCA card is used. In asynchronous machines, auto-tuning can be done without encoder connections. Connections are made if UPS are available. In the absence of UPS, the corresponding terminal connections for the UPS at the bottom of the panel must be bridged Otherwise, the panel may not be energized. Safety circuits are bridged for N81 to minus 20, should be performed on the KBK 12 to 13 board. 110 to 113, 119B to 120, 120 to 130, to 133, to 135, to 137, to 140, bridges will be performed. These bridges are temporary and are dangerous. If possible, it is recommended to have safety circuit components connected. In KBK 12-13 cart, 817-818 top and bottom prelimit switches over the cab revision 869, pit bottom revision 868 signals should be connected to the 100. Recall hand terminal is switched to inspection position on the control panel. The RM hand terminal is plugged into the KXCBA CAN bus terminal on the panel. The control panel is energized. Our code software requires an update on the first run with RM. Pressing the tools button will display three lock icons. Go to the leftmost installation level icon and press enter. The password section will appear. Default value is six digit zero. By pressing the enter button again, it proceeds to the menu. A software update icon is available with the buttons on the RM and software update is started by pressing the enter button while being on the software update icon. After the update is completed, enter the menu via Tools button and go to the Quick Installation icon. In the Installation menu, you can enter the motor information and the information concerning the elevator. When these steps are completed and you reach to an end, there comes Auto-Tuning stage. If the motor is gearless, there will be two different options for your Auto-Tune. One with rope, other is without rope. If the ropes are laid, option with rope is selected. If the ropes are not laid, option without rope is selected by pressing Enter. In asynchronous motor, no such options will be displayed. After pressing Enter, the auto-tuning process will be started by pressing buttons of direction pad on the recall hand terminal. We should not take our hand off the direction buttons until the auto-tuning is finished. When the auto-tuning process is completed successfully, we can take our hand off the direction button. Auto-tuning is finished when Do you want to save the values option is entered. 
Proceeding to the RM home screen, you can start the movement with Recall Hand Terminal. The movement will be upward when Up button is pressed, and the movement will be downwards when Down button is pressed. If there is movement in the reverse direction, the motor direction parameter is changed from the menu. In R code, the auto-tuning process is done in this way. If you wish, you can also get more detailed information by accessing our code quick installation document from our website. Hope to see you in our next Arkel training video. Goodbye.